Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Dairy Man's Diary. My name is Frank. I hope you're doing very well. It's a beautiful day. Look at the sun shining out there. Uh, we are looking light on tractors here. Uh, main reason being, um, we have actually taken away the 7710 to the dealer. You're going to see that later on. Uh, the 66 is here and the um, the 6820 is actually down at the lower yard there with the uh, mowers on ready to get some more grass knocked down on the extension land as well but what I'm going to do first is just drop off the tether we've got so much to do at the moment today um, we've got hay to Ted uh, we've got silage bales to cart in, hay bales to cart in, grassland to mow down uh, but what we're going to be doing today as a matter of priority is taking out this beast it is ready to go it's time that we go and knock down that field of winter barley it actually looks pretty good uh it's looking like a strong yield there i tested it this morning it's coming in about 16 percent, so it is perfect ready to get flying in um and it's only going to dry out more because like i say it's a beautiful dry day by the time we actually get stuck into it it'll probably be 15 percent or lower uh so that's going to be perfect uh, but what i'm going to do is take off the tether on the back of the 66 we're going to need this like i say to, uh, we're going to need to stick this onto the, the uh, grain trailer, uh, which is down at the other yard there. But we do also at the moment, we're struggling. Uh, we are <clears throat> we are attracted down at the moment, which is less than ideal, uh, obviously. But we're, uh, we have to make it do. So this is actually going to come down in just a moment. Uh, it's gonna, I'm going to take the combine down with the header trailer on the back. Gonna get all set up there then because we don't have terry working for us at the moment i need to come back up uh in which i'll get a lift down from the missus who's going to follow us down uh and then i'm going to come back up and then put the trailer on and it's going to be a one-man job it's not the biggest field in the world so that shouldn't be a problem uh but yeah we'll see how that goes um and then we can get ourselves up and away moving on i just need to also tick off the bale of twine on the back of here happy days but yeah it's time to get combining i'm very looking forward to this actually uh, we'll get our gate opened up so I can get out, of course. Uh, but as you can see, as I look over here, uh, grass is starting to dry up very nicely indeed. It is, uh, that's pretty much ready to bail these fields here, so we do need to get into that as well. I'm probably going to try and get the rake onto there after I get this field of, uh, field of barley cut down. Uh, we do need to get the straw baled on there as well, so there's a lot of different baling to do, uh, which is going to take forever to get through it all. But uh, we'll find a way. Uh, first thing I need to do though, this is all firing, ready to go. Don't need to worry about this old gem. We'll jump in. Listen to a go. Oh, I really love this combine. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is just pull forward a little bit. I want to get that pickup truck out. Uh, the missus can follow me down. And uh, we will get ourselves uh, back up here for the John Deere, I guess. Uh, so let's just leave it there. Let's go find where she is and we'll get ourselves ready to roll. Well, she said she's going to follow us down in a moment, so that's fine. We can get ourselves away. It's not ideal at the moment. The work is uh, building up, like I say, but we're trying to get through it all. Uh, milking dictates how our day goes, as always. So everything else is just what we can get done when we can get through it. Uh, hoping, though, to get this new... Uh, Dairyman in soon just to help out. Oh, there we go. We're away. Beacons on there. Little, little bit of power and we're off. Uh, so yeah, we've got lots to do. It's going to be a busy old day. Uh, this field, like I say, shouldn't take us all day to do. But then, as you can see, there's plenty on the deck, so we might try and get that old railroad road up this evening. Uh, and if we can, get some bales in as well. Straw on the field on this field that we're going to looks like it's going to be pretty good. Very beneficial for us. The grain we're not selling on our behalf there, it is going, we're going to just cart it away for the previous uh, farmer who actually planted it. Lord knows what happened there. We might even just be coming to the point of tipping it onto our grain shed floor uh, down at the uh, lower yard there and then they can come and haul it away uh, whenever they're ready to. Um, which might be the best way to go because I don't really have time to go and sit in queues at grain dryers and, uh, and wait for it to, to get, get processed through that way. So that might be what we're looking to do. In. Um, but yeah, it's actually working out quite well because our grain, our uh, spring barley, spring wheat is nowhere near being ready. So with the um, with us being able to get the combine out now and take down this, what looks like I think it's about 16, 17 acre field, uh, it gives us a little bit of a head start really. 
Uh, gives us a chance to kind of make test the uh, combine out, make sure everything is looking good. Uh, and then we'll uh, be able to really get powering on after that, so that's quite exciting. Looking forward to uh, getting the old girl firing through again. Doesn't have to do much, but when she does, she works perfectly. Which is all that you can ask for, really. Easy down. Easy down. Nice and quiet on the road still, which is ideal. There we go, and we're off full speed ahead. So I hope you're doing very well. Whatever you're getting up to, do let me know down below what you're working on, where you're working as always, and what you're driving. Uh, we were able to recently get those the headlands built up. That's going to be that's a very dry silage, it's nearly hailage actually, but it's uh, looking good in there. So those bales need to be um, carted back to the yard. Uh, the fields of hay down by the sheep yard, they've been baled. They look like they're going to be quite good bales of hay, uh, truth be told. So that's good news. Uh, so we have made quite a bit of progress. Now what I need to do is get about, with the new ground that we've got as well, we knocked down some grass there last night, which is looking pretty good. Knocked down about 12 acres. There's a little bit more to go at as well. Uh, and we're going to have to start getting slurry back out into the new ground because it is very, very warm. Very dry, not much sign of any rain coming anytime soon, so we need to get a bit of moisture back into the silage ground. The best way we can do that is with the gallons and gallons of slurry that we have floating around here. Uh, to that extent, we've been carting slurry to reduce the pressure on the main, uh, on the top yard slurry lagoon. We've been carting it down to the new lagoon we have down here. Uh, and I'm installing a new pumping system, which means that we might look at trading out the Joskin, uh, which is a great tanker, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I've got my eye on a um, a big high spec I think we might make that trade on pull the trigger there uh, because that will allow us to be a little bit more seamless a little bit more smooth as well uh, and just faster all around that w between the high spec and the, uh, the abbey that we have that would be perfect that really really would be very very perfect so that's kind of the next line of thinking uh, we'll let you know what that looks like when we do make a decision there of course, we come down through the, uh, the the lower yard, as I call it, and on into the new extended ground, uh, which actually been taking a look around there. We did some, sent some soil away for analysis, uh, which I haven't quite received the results back yet. I want to see the condition of the soil. Um, some of the grass that we knocked down yesterday didn't look too bad. Uh, it's a bit pot, uh, kind of flaky and a bit thin in places, so. Uh, I'll have to have a look at that, but some of it looks pretty darn good. Cattle are looking good and healthy in there. Uh, we've got more bales to tidy up and more bales to cart in. Our grassland around here is looking good, as is on the other side of the main yard there. Um, and then, yeah, in here, our spring barley is looking pretty good as well, uh, despite the dry conditions we have right now. Uh, so that's fantastic news. The three we come. This is the first time bringing the combine this far, uh, this far south, actually. Why oh, something into the new area we go? Oh, it's down. Uh, this used to be all like fenced start or the gate was closed, padlocked shut, there was trees down, stopped anyone accessing. Why oh, something? Uh, but as you can see, some of these grass fields on our uh, left here do need a little bit of a, a kick just to get going properly. Uh, so we will be looking to get some slurry onto those as soon as we can. And we come. We are actually going to go into here. Uh, stop right there. Okay, so. Let's get this all opened up, ready to roll. Looking pretty good there, isn't it? It's great to see it out and about. It really, really is. It's a nice thick looking crop there, that's for sure. It's really looking quite something. Uh, I don't know anything about the um, how it was treated, the what uh, what rate it had of applications of nitrogen on there or anything like that, but just looking at it, I would say it, it did pretty well. What we need to do is just figure out how we're going to do this without causing too much destruction, which is um, not going to be easy, that's for sure, unfortunately. Uh, 
Wonder. What I think I might well do, because this is a private road anyway, I am just going to go and uh, wander down to the main yard where I'm going to pick up the old ASS. We're going to drop off the header trailer here. Uh, I can pull the combine in and then we'll do it that way. I think that's going to work off the best. Um, so we'll just try and dig that over. I think what we'll do as well, whilst we're getting this all set up, now will be a great time. I'm going to... Uh, we actually took away the John Deere earlier, so I'll bring that up now so you can see what's going on. Uh, let me get that over a little bit there. Uh, and yeah, we uh, I, I did record it, so here is us taking away the John Deere. So we're doing something a little bit different this morning. Uh, we're just taking away the John Deere nice and slowly. Uh, we're dropping her off at the local dealer that we use as a service by John Deere Mechanic. Uh, but the specialty for me, uh, or in my mind at least, is the older John Deere's. Any of my uh, John Deere's I take it to him. Now I've been in touch with him recently about what's going on with this old 77. And he wanted me to drop it off. I was going to have a look at it. He, he's kind of told me what he thinks it is. Uh, and I do trust his opinion on his diagnosis there. But it does sound like we've got a bit of an issue because, uh, just to go, jump back a little bit, there's been a growing oil leak coming from um, underneath the transmission. And it does look like a, a, I've been losing a bit of a, a range as well on here occasionally. So I think it's, and with conversation with the uh, gentleman in question, it looks like it's going to be a um, uh, the combination of a bearing and a, a seal going within the transmission. Uh, which has kind of stopped us from uh, utilizing it fully. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to let him figure that out. Uh, I'm just going to drop it off for him today. We're going nice and slowly, mainly because I can't get into the top range of the gearbox, uh, which is problematic, obviously. So we're just going to uh, tip over, go and see him, uh, leave it with him there. I'm going to get picked up by the missus, and then we'll uh, later on today, we're going to get the combine out, I think. Uh, but the way that this might get all pieced together, you might see this in between, so uh, watch that space, really. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we get cracking. Got lots to do today. Uh, lots to do all the time at the moment. That's uh, a bit relentless. So we really need to get this this girl uh, fixed and back up and working. Uh, so we'll have to see what that looks like. So we're just going to drop it into here, and he can uh, take a look at the rest of the way. You can see he's got a little setup here and there. Let's stop there. This is looking like a lovely old John Deere over there, that's for sure. Uh, we're just about at the period where it's going to be crucial to have this, uh, this machine up and working. Um, so what I think I'll do is actually just leave it about here, next to the glorious lot of 3350, it is, look at that. Leave it here. He can come and uh, have a look at it. It got washed down a little bit, but needs a little bit more of a go over. But uh, we will see. I think we'll just spray more oil over the yard. So we'll leave it there with him and you can have a look at it. Like I say, it does work predominantly on the older John Deere. So hopefully, you can get that one. He certainly knows what he's doing. It's been serviced here every uh, every kind of five, uh, well, every major service of about a thousand hours has been done here as long as I've owned it up to about seven and a half thousand hours on that thing now and still going strong with the exception of this issue so we'll see what that is um but yeah and that we'll get ourselves uh we're gonna just truck on over back up to the yard the missus is on her way down to pick me up i'm gonna shut this gate for him i told him i'll just leave it here and social distancing and everything we don't really need to um meet face to face and he knows where the key is gonna be kept and all that good stuff uh so now just gonna wait to see where the car is, really. What's going on here? Alright then, so we managed to get past the header trailer. Uh, we've got the combine into the field. The ASUS is just gonna. Uh, well, I'm just gonna back the header trailer in so we can get everything unhooked, and uh, that should be all she wrote, I would imagine. Uh, but what? We'll let's see. And then the. We've already as well. Mrs. came up, picked me up, went and picked up the 6630. So that is with the grain trailer at the lower yard there. Uh, and so as soon as I've kind of cut in the headlands here a bit, uh, 
we will go and pick that up. And uh, yeah, we'll be flying. All being well. All the little destruction here, but that should just about do it. We'll come over here nice and gently. Alright. And finally, what we're going to do is just get everything hooked up here. Everything good there. A bit of a wander around the old pill. Still looking beautiful. I got to uh, wax and polish off at the end of last season. It doesn't just look fantastic. Absolutely stunning. And listen to the sound of the old uh, earth. It's just plodding over there. I think that is absolutely delightful. We're just going to pull it out of the way for now. This is a great little track that I've just ticking around the yard, it really is. Uh, and happily, like I mentioned, because this is our, like, this is kind of our own land here now, there's nobody else in this area, this is a private road, so really I can just kind of block this off for now until I need to come and move uh, to get the tractor and trailer. But what we will do is we'll get this stuck into the field anyway. Uh, see if it's not there for now. We'll get as soon as we get the headlands cut off there, we'll try and have, uh, we'll pull that in. Let's get that shut so we just get a good first run. Now what we're going to do is, because I want to be, uh, I'm not going to go all the way around, I'm just going to tidy up this headland first. I'm just going to tidy up this headland first, do a few passes and make sure we can get uh, enough access in. Uh, and then we will look to do a few, uh, get the headlands completed off there. So, so let's get this fired up for the first time properly. Oh, listen to it, get that reel lined up a bit. Okay, and off we go. It's certainly dry enough, there's plenty of dust flying off here right now, that's for sure. Grain's coming into back, so we know that something's going right. Uh, oh, we've got plenty of space to turn around at this end, actually. This must have been like a wild margin they had put in, I guess. Uh, works out well for me, it's going to be a little bit more space to turn around in anyway. Yeah. Okay. Like I say, yeah, we're going to take just a couple of passes off each side here. We're going to just get us uh, worked into the field. Then we'll get a full headland done. Uh, and that just allows us to get that little bit of extra space all set up. Uh, things like so I can get the tractor and trailer in if I get stuck anywhere uh, with a full tank. And uh, more importantly, get the header trailer off the road as well. Uh, so it's just like to keep everything looking tidy. Yeah, we are good to go. Yeah, so for me, for uh, Meadow Grow Farm, this is Harvest 2020 off and away. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be going a bit earlier than usual because of the heat around here as well, so uh, I don't think there'll be many people who are too much farther behind me. Uh, but that being said, we are making this is unprecedented, uh, unprecedented times for us, really, in terms of how early we're going. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting, but uh, yeah, we'll make the most of the weather when it works in our favour. That's about all we can do. Uh, I'm going to just go for it now. I'm going to book it up this far side. There are trees here as well that I need to watch out for. But uh, the way they've made the drilled this field, they gave us quite a nice little turning space in areas, so that works well. Okay. I do love combining. It's one of my favorite jobs. I don't do too much of it, but it's always like the first couple of times out in the field are always fantastic. They really, really are. Go around this trees over there. Uh, green tank's filling up nicely as well. Looking good there. We should still get all the way around in one go, that being said. 
Yeah, again, they've left like the really square off the ball. Is what I think I might look to do as well. Is get a bit of a cover crop in there of some sort. A uh, wildflower mix, maybe. Uh, just to really kind of help out all the uh, insects around here, all the pollinators as well, because we want those guys to be able to thrive. So when we do have a crop in here, that they do really well. Uh, I think that's what we'll look at. Okay, happy days indeed. Like I say, a lot to come through the week, depending upon the news from our mechanic in terms of the, uh, the identified issues. Uh, if it's more than what we already thought of the bearing and the, uh, and the seal there on the transmission, we'll have to wait and see. But um, we will also... Oh, we're not going to get to that. That tree must have fallen down or something since that was planted. Um, we are down the tractor, which makes things a little bit tricky. We might, we may well have to just see about getting the, uh, to lease the tractor somewhere. We'll have to see how we get on over the next couple of days because it is going to be a bit tight. We've just got pl two, a lot of work to do, frankly. An awful lot of work to do. Uh, so we'll see what that looks like. But uh, yeah, right now it does make it a little bit tricky. What I'm going to do is just add on a other pass here. a little bit more turning room on this end really old looking building over there I don't know what that was but I, I bet it's well first of all it's done well to survive not being flattened by the mining when they're in here mustn't have been much coal under there um, but yeah I wonder what that was at some point and it would make a fantastic new house that's for sure Take a lot of work to get it built but uh, it would look brilliant Perfect, so we're nearly finished the first headle in there. We've got ooh, over half a tank there, two thirds. Uh, this field like you can see is not the biggest, but I do want to get this all wrapped out now uh, and then we'll get cracking on with the hay. So lots to do here uh, and we'll keep you abreast of everything that we get done over the course of the next couple of days because uh, it's going to be busy. So we'll let you know what that looks like for the 77 as well. Fingers crossed on that one. Uh, but until then, we're going to leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I am probably going to just finish off this first little, this last notch up the headland here and then um gonna take a, a drive back down to the yard go and pick up the 66 so we can get some grain carton done as well so uh lots to do but until next time i hope you have enjoyed i have been frank your humble host if you've yet to uh please do check out simulation for the nation who hosts everything and uh, we will see you next time until then though thanks ever so much for watching and we'll catch you all later